Ah, 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 First train on the plane, we were flying to the mountain, all across the ocean, and there we go again, walking in the streets, lost in new places, a million new faces, diving deeper in the world. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Liv Kenya. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. So today we are in Old Town. We've just parked here. I'm with my friends. Hi. Please come with us. What are you doing? Oh, 850? Oh, 850? Oh, 850? Yote yote. Ah, you are this is really good. Yeah, brad. Do you know I've stayed in Mombasa for so long, you but I usually know. avoid the Madafu. Madafu is really good. It's really good. Yeah. What about yeah. the country yeah. yeah. What's that? Thank you, thank you, Kwale County, Kwale County. These products are from Kwale County. Oh, These guys are from Kwale County. From ah, all the way. Uh, team, Kwale County. 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 Kwale Lakini, <laughs> lakini ana sama ntoka kilipi, but pia kuna kilipi na kuna mombasa. Kwale, Kwale County, thank you, thank you, Diani Beach, best beach of the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Muna chocha watuwa Kwale, hata mombasa iko saa. <laughs> so, mm. this is Atta Vavel Tower. Mm. Atta Vavel, he was a British from South Africa. Mm. Now in South Africa, there had been the Anglo Boer War, the Africans versus the British. Mm. So the British lost in that war. So out of embarrassment, mm. he left South Africa and settled here in Old Town. Mm -hmm. now, during, now during the First World War, the Germans were coming from Tanzania to attack Mombasa. Mm. But there was no standing army in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. So he trained the locals mm -hmm. to repulse the German invasion. And in the course of the war, mm. he was knifed. You see that night yeah. by a German soldier. Mm. Then uh, one year later, in 1915, he died from the wounds. Mm. Then the people of Mombasa collected yeah. funds and erected this monument in his honor. Okay. We call it the Atavavel Tower. Oh. So guys, we have our tour guide here. If you come, yeah, yeah, here yes, is Teacher guy. Ken. Teacher Ken is the Tabula guide. Teacher yeah, Ken. Ken, yeah, yeah, the guide for today. Yeah. So for future visits, yeah, yeah, yeah recommend. Yeah, he will take yeah. you around Old Town. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ivan, umewai yonja kawatamu, hindi o kawatamu. Isi kawatungu? 
sika wa tungu kuna tungu na tamu tungu difference na tamu ni hey, tungu ni tungu hebu hey, atuma naonjesha kidogo hiyo kawa <laughs> waelewe uh, we have time we'll go inside then we go to the old city you know Mombasa is very famous for coffee eh? really yeah 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 it's famous for coffee kawa tungu wazi as in you feel the taste of Nikali If you want to concentrate, yeah, it's conk. This is Oh, it is ikona conk ya coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asa difference kawa tungu na kawa tamu ni nini? Hii ni kahawa nye. Mhm. Wow. Ni Abdalasin. Wow. Abdalasin. Unajua Abdalasin? Abdalasin. Abdalasin. Yeah. Uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Not cardamom. Cardamom. Yes, yes. No, 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 Eh mazi ya kitumbu imejaa maji. But wacha tupambane na hii. Kwa hivyo kidogo itakataa kukutoa. Very slim. Very slim. She's not an African girl. Kwa ni mekua mzungu from the blues. Kwa hivyo wala maze. Lazima si chubebe machumbu. Lakini kawa tamu ni tamu. Ni tamu. Kawa tamu njoo hapa. Kwa hii umesema inaitwa kwa? Ata Babel Tower. Ata Babel Tower. Iko tu hapa hivi inapikwa so. Ata Babel. Adura odoro unataka mimi tena? Ah, yeah. oh. oh, you are handsome girl. Haya <laughs> nichukue basi nichukue. <laughs> Uh -huh. These were used in the first world war. Mm -hmm. This is a British cannon, the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. The other one is a German cannon called uh, the Konisberg. How can we tell this one was British and uh, the other What German? is the difference? You can see. This is Nozliake. Oh, so this is the one that is here. This is the one that is here. This is the one that is flat. Rounded. Because uh, kuna construction in the lea huku, normally this is the parking, eh? Oh. As of now, parking is here. So even is, the other side. These are cannons. Are Portuguese cannons oh. of the 16th century. Oh. Material used, cast iron, shooting range, 300 meters. These are long range cannons for the period of the 16th century. Mm. Yeah, as of today, we have the many long range. Oh. For to Jesus, for to Jesus. This is my third time coming here. This is my fifth. Fifth? Yes. When you come to where them? Second, second, yeah. Second time. So I hope today you'll have a new experience with the teacher pen. Up there we have the symbol of the sun. Mm. When Portuguese were coming here, they regarded Africa as a dark continent. So they were bringing their religion, which is Christianity, uh -huh. their civilization and education. Mm -hmm. So that symbol mm. was put there in 1635. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the writings there are Portuguese, but we have English translations eh, regarding the site. Oh, okay. The writings, yeah. Oh, these are the transcription. Translation of mm -hmm. yeah, translation. So you see the thickness of the wall. I did say. 70% of the fort was carved out of a massive coral, 30% eh? mm. was built, so this is the upper wall, which is over one meter thick. Mm -hmm. Material used coral stone, red earth and lime stone, because mm. those days they were not using cement. Mm. Today museum is doing restoration, they are uh, supplementing with the cement. Mm -hmm. the cement is not the authentic material that was used. This is the model of the fort, will be very brief here. Yeah? So the model of the fort is like a human body on the cross, eh? the body of Christ on the cross. Eh? The left arm, the head, the right arm, and the legs. Mm. It's like a human body, the layout. Eh? Mm. When you look at it from the top, eh? it's like a human body. Mm. The British were the last year, after the Omani Arab, the British mm. took over this fort from 1st July 18 and 5. That plaque, eh? mm. British East Africa protected. The British used this fort as a prison. 
between uh, 1895 and uh, 1958. Mm. By 1958, they moved the museum to Shimola. Then two years later, that's 1960, mm. the museum was open to the public. But me, I like girls. When I see girls, I get motivated. When I see girls, I get motivated. I want to impress girls. You know that. <laughs> These are the captains of Unao, no? Ganyo? In Yumba. Mm. Captain was in charge of the barracks. Remember, this was a military barracks. Mm -hmm. So Mkubwa alikuwa ni captain. Mm. Nyumba ya captain alikuwa ni milango, dirisha na pa. Mm. But by 1960, kukianzishu hapa museum, all that had collapsed. For a museum, you can't put new additions. Mm -hmm. So it's doorless, roofless, and windowless. See this wall. This wall is the 30%. Now, nona ninzito ni is heavy. Indi warabu wawanga weza kuangusha. Because when Arabs came, there was an attempt to collapse it. They mm. went, so there was a siege. Mm. Dio, after two years, nine months, after two, this was the washroom. Siege, siege. Yes, yeah, siege. So, <laughs> half of them two are not just idea. Guy, guy, guy. And then even the ladies, it. how do they even pee over here? So, they designed it for men only. But in the loop. Watch tower for uh, oh. the open seats. You have to come from that direction. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Was it up and watch tower? Oh, you can see. Yeah, my dear, I'm going to Only because. <laughs> There was a total roof, a uh, total wall which uh, eventually collapsed. Mm -hmm. So by 1960, they would not put new roof, or it's not the authentic. Mm -hmm. For uh, a monument, it has to be authentic. Mm -hmm. That was the kitchen over there. Mm -hmm. oh. Kitchen. Oh. kitchen. kitchen yeah. We are going to dinner. No, we have to go today because of COVID. Look of the day in Fort Jesus. more artistic that, than I am. Me see it's all right. Let's check this. Assuming this was a painting, it would be very expensive because of the history behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, and then, if you tell people do not write, like here is where now they decide to write everything. Oh no. Graffiti, graffiti. Human beings. Yeah. Now, in the museum, we have mm. got two categories of artifacts. Mm -hmm. Right in front of us here, these are artifacts from the sunken ship. Kunameli is a mission of Arab during the siege. Yeah, you, the you, siege. Yeah, the, the siege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the name of the ship, Santo Antonio de Tana, that's the model, uh, was sunken on 17th September 1697. 273 years later, that's 1970. 
there was a diving expedition. Mm -hmm. That is the diving illustrated. Uh -huh. See how they dive, and these are the retrieved artifacts. For facilitation, you identify an artifact like number 11, then you just relate. Eh? You oh, identify and relate. Number. Yeah, yeah. You relate, eh? then you get the information. Across the ocean, and there we go again. Walking in the streets, lost in new places. Riding on the road into the unknown, all on our own until we settle down. You know, this is how the Swahili seats zili nini. See, this is a Swahili seat. Then you want to things and a man in my canvas, yeah. So you talk about Rabu. You must have visited that one. So from here, you just take nine to ten centuries. It means the artifacts in the closet are over a thousand years old. Eh? What? So you pick an artifact, you observe, then there is information. This is from Persia, modern day Iran, second from Egypt, third. Is it over a thousand years? Yeah. Ten centuries. Say, enough is enough. It's time to head home to see the ones we love. Time to back again to hit the road again. Memories all around, tears are flowing down. It's time to say goodbye to all these colors, flavors, cultures, and to jump on that train. Easy mother, it is easy like this one. If you decide to sell this one, uh, this can be a fortune because they have this tree. So let's keep checking them. So, I'm going to invitation to you. I'm going to give you an invitation to you. I'm going to you know they used to do gold and silver. Doesn't matter the agenda. So yeah, maybe there's a part of maybe it was for yeah, some real people from the royal family. Yeah. Where check is the canon to be in the Hakuna kitu kama ujamba. History is history. So guys, you are from the museum. We are going to check out the skeleton of the well. There was a chapel, a Portuguese chapel. Yeah, the Holland in the middle were used to support the roof because the chapel had the roof. They had just adjacent buildings also had roofs. The military barracks were over there. That confirms that the tank is empty. Hakuna maji. Yeah. It's empty. Oh. I gave the reason. There are no rooms. Mm. <laughs> See, there's the echo, right? Yeah. Even your trolley, trolley. You must have heard about trolley. Trolley in English, yeah? Uh. This was a, ro a whole uh, rail system for the island of Mombasa. Oh. It was outside there, in mm. the old town, new town. Mm. So trolley, mtu anaka hapa lafu, they push you, eh? and push oh. you. Oh. Between 1890 and 1920. The first cars arrived in Mombasa in 1920. So this was the end. It was the end for trolley. Yeah, yeah, these are small well, eh, juvenile, between 19 to 24 eh? years. A mature adult well, I mean the last one of us is 100 years. Eh? Na vile ni What? No. Imagine it is this big. Mtoto na kichwa imejaa hapa. Yeah, yeah, imagine. We don't produce dates. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we import from the Arab and Gulf. So hizi kama zinatoa, kama inakubali kukumea. Yeah, somebody has to do it in a large scale. That is the point. The market fast. Kule juu si mnajua ni nyumba ya Waarabu, just like the museum we all read the same but me specifically for the Omani Arabs, eh? oh. so you can get up there, take some pictures. Yeah, they did a restoration in 2016. Yeah, yeah. You can you sanitize here.
Man. So everything uh, regarding this site is about the Omani era. You are allowed to visit the new time it was not yet re re restored. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that must be surprising for you. This is beautiful. Wow. You are only about cinnamon, cardamom, eh? The danger of us is yellow. This is cardamom, this is cinnamon, these are cloves. Bread lemon, dates. Yeah, that's right. Okay. This is a little bit of 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 a little this is the dressing code for an occasion. They meant to dress this way, women should dress that way. Hey. Then the photos modern day woman. The airport is modern. Are these women pretty? They are yeah, beautiful. They are, of course, they are pretty women. Beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. this is a new addition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time I was here, senior, yeah. the last time I was here, it, it was, was not here, so it was done in 2016. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least I've seen something new yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You can see that. You see, I did say 70% of the photos come out of the massive coral. Eh? Mm -hmm. The floor level, you see where we have the size of eh? That was the floor level. So they cut it out to isolate it, and then the rock that they dug out there was used to construct the upper part, eh? this upper wall. Mm -hmm. Can you get? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look, we take this other. Yeah, it's just like a rainbow. So pretty. Ah. Yes, yeah, so I see that is there, Nini. There. Oh, where check you are looking? Ah. 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 Going to the old town. Yeah, so let's go to the old town with a one awesome guide. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mombasa County. Yeah, Mombasa. I couldn't have a quality account. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. You're hungry again? And we can just go straight to Korovan. <laughs> so we take a shortcut to Thorodan. Yes, watch it to Zumbuka, then we'll go to Thorodan. Oh, yeah. This is uh, a souvenir shop here. So, guys, there's souvenir shops here. Yes, here. Yeah. More than a souvenir shop. So, Kitaka, any souvenir here in Mombasa? Oh. This is to invite you Kawatungu Kawatam. You see the coffee cup. Eh? Oh, oh Iri ah. Kukaribisa Kawatungu yeah, Kawatam. Now, this is an imitation of a kettle. Yeah, Kawatungu. Yeah, Apa. Ndio tu enda for Rodani hivi tayari. Some people are hungry, they just want to go and eat. So these are those old houses? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, Madrui. Madrui graveyard. Oh. Which ghost now? Serious? See the barabara. This was a class, only the rich could afford to construct houses in hey, Falcon. Is, ah. A class, it's a upper class. Eh? Come on. Oh, ni nyumba a rich person. Yeah, yeah. But people are staying there. You don't know me or Shangu. Oh, it, it looks like those Italian streets. Italy, I'm a little bit. And I could also go to the Eh, what's it? Boom, I'm going to leave the streets. 
Conisa class is from the 17th century. Just a, just a, the homeless yes. back then were born in Asia. No, no, today. Oh, today the homeless stay here. Like it can collapse. It's yeah, yeah. Ni watu wana ingia kisiri siri, lakini it should not. Nobody should go oh. and live inside. This is abandoned as well. Empty. That one is occupied. Oh. Factory, Musiende mahali mkuu attacked. Eh yeah, yeah, then nitakuwa huko mbona uliwapeleka wageni huko. Especially then they can cancel my license. Oh, so guys you've heard when you come here and sure you get a guide there are some places where people are not comfortable yeah, exactly. uh, to have guests. Yeah. Hello. Dia dia karai. Zimekuisha. Ah. Samusa pia. Samusa si si leo lakini. Oh this is a mosque. This is the oldest mosque eh, of oh. the 17th century. Eh? It's okay. called Mandri Mosque. Okay. Up in a car, come a street in Guinness, dear Italy. Yeah, it's restored street. Eh? Oh, it has been restored? Yeah, oh, since 1999. National eh? Museum of Kenya, European Union. Oh! It is rich in culture. This African, Africa Hotel was the first hotel in Old Town. But right now it is a school. You've seen it is called Safina School. the ocean and there we go again walking in the streets lost in new places a million new faces diving deeper in the world i love mombasa i love mombasa this is true <laughs> wow So guys, we've been to Fort Jesus, Old Town, First, Mo first, first Mosque, uh, Madrid Graveyard, First uh -huh. Police Station. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. Sasa kwenye mebaki ni Old Port. Old Port. We drive there, hapo ndiyo forodhani utayo. Ah, tunenda forodhani kukula, tukiangalia Old Port, sindio? Exactly, yeah. I love Mombasa. So we're just going down uh, to eat as we check out uh, the Old Port. So here is Forodhani restaurant. But sinaka ime food. But this Forodhani. Sasa hii space up and Korodani Restaurant So guys this is Korodani I'll just record here first before we go and eat Sorry Oh wow Take you to rocks when you to Papa Chini Wow And then the sunset
Now this is Korodani. From here you can see all these hotels along the beach. The Nyali hotels that are usually along the beach, just next to Nyali. Iko karibu na Nyali. Nyali Bridge. Sindio? All the hotels close to Nyali Bridge. Yeah, where is Nyali Bridge by the way? Nyali Bridge iko uko ibo. So it's uko ibo the nini? Old port. This is the old port here. Where are they? Tamarind yo hi. Yes. In fact, don't yo yo. Yes, Tamarind is over there. Don't yo yo. Yes. So you can see all that. Ah, so you're here to have dinner and then we'll go. Yeah, yes. yeah, we'll go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, remember Bye. to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Remember to touch the bell and comment. Yeah, please. <laughs> Bye. Bye.